Shelby claims to be an awesome Midwesterner, but is living in England. Shelby acts like a team player, but is the only one of the five awesome Midwesterners to call it pop. And when asked about Duck Duck Grey Duck, so I mean, like I say both. Lives in England, calls it pop, plays Duck Duck Grey Duck. Vote Eric for president of YouTube. I'm Eric Petri, and I approve this message. So you guys might notice I am in a different location today. Um, I am house-sitting for Amanda because she's in Florida for the week. And actually, she was in Florida at the same time Alex was in Florida, so I believe there's talk of them meeting up. I don't know if that happened. Uh, Alex can clarify tomorrow. Look, it's Amanda's kitty. So Alex, on Friday you didn't ask a question, and you didn't do my challenge, you jackass. Peter, Monday, your intro was absolutely amazing, like, way to spend time on it. Uh, I almost feel bad for taking such a half ass way out of uh, the punishment, because that was really good, so props to you. And then you asked uh, what celebrity we would most like to meet, and I've been thinking about this for the last couple days, and like... I don't know, eight years ago, my answer, hands down, would have been Mick Foley, because that guy was, like, my hero when I watched wrestling, and I was thinking about it, and there's no celebrities right now that I'm really, like, I don't know, obsessed is a strong word, but you know what I mean, like, really interested in, so I think I'm still gonna go with Mick Foley, because, I don't know, he just seems like he'd be a fun person to hang out with. I mean, like, if you mean, like, meet for, like, a second, then I would probably want to pick a bigger celeb than him, but if you mean, like, hang out with, um, then yeah, that would be really cool. And the only reason I'd pick a bigger celebrity if I'm just going to meet for a second is because it doesn't really... I mean, if you just meet him for a second, you don't really say anything. And it's a cooler story to say, I met... I don't know, say Morgan Freeman. Actually, come to think of it, I would really like to meet Morgan Freeman. I would love to have a conversation with him, and it does not matter what it is about. I would like him on my voicemail. I would like him to tell me bedtime stories narrate anything and I know this joke's been made before but he really could narrate anything. Amy asked what we were gonna Halloween and my plans are definitely to go to Madison and uh, hit up State Street because that is like the it's either the second or third biggest party in the country all year so I'm definitely gonna be there. Uh, I've gone there for like the last uh, like five or so years uh, but my issue this year is I have no idea what I'm gonna be and I guess it's been my issue every year but uh, usually by this point I have an idea um, so I'm getting kind of worried that, because my, my problem is I've had what I consider to be really good costumes every year, uh, and so, like, I can't just, I can't just, like, do something simple. Like, I feel like I gotta do, like, I, I just feel like I need to do something cool. And also, the problem is, when you go, when you've been on State Street in Madison for five years, you've seen every costume possible, and I don't want to do something I've already seen. So, that's really hard. Um, and so even though Amy only asked what we're going to be this year, I'm going to talk about what I've done in the past because it's more interesting than me saying I don't know this year. So the first year I went to Madison, I went as one of the three blind mice. And that was a good costume because it was cheap, it was warm, and it was really creative and we got a lot of attention, so that was really cool. And then the second year that I went, I went as part of a group of McDonald's foods and I was the apple pie which, of course, is one of the best things you can buy from McDonald's. And then the next year, I went as the guy from those infomercials you see in the morning. Uh, for, uh, you know, like... His name is Matthew Lesko. It, the people who got this costume, it was amazing. People who got it, got it, and that was well worth it. The best part about that costume is, like, okay, so in the infomercials, he says stuff like, Get $500 so you're going back to school! So I was, like, running around, like, yelling, Get $400 for being dressed like a banana! And then, like, some guy, like, who, like, wasn't in, a, wasn't in a costume and walk by. And I'd say stuff like, get $200 for being a douchebag. And I insulted a lot of people. Uh, but I had my buddy Evan with me, and I wasn't afraid of getting hurt because he would stab somebody for me. And the year after that, I went as... Uh, um, okay, so this year, this is my least favorite of the costumes. I went as, I didn't think I was going to be able to go to Madison for Halloween because uh, I had to work. And then the last second I got off, I drove to Madison... And we couldn't think of a costume for me. And I had uh, my old movie theater uniform in my car. And so I transformed it into being the Million Dollar Man Teddy Biasi's tuxedo. And 
uh, last year I went as Wayne of Wayne's World, and my friend David was Garth, uh, who was wish with me as always, except for the second weekend, because I did stuff for two different weekends, because uh, Halloween was in the middle of the week. Uh, so uh, when I went to Madison, David was by my side, and then when I did stuff in Milwaukee, I didn't have a Garth. So that's, that's what I did for Halloween like the last five years. Okay, so I know I talked about that for way too long, but honestly, it's more interesting than anything else I'm going to talk about, so I hope you guys liked it. Uh, Shelby, your video got cut off, um, and it's pretty unanimous at this point, Quick Capture sucks, so I'm making a new rule, and the rule is we're not allowed to use Quick Capture anymore. But the question you were going to ask, according to the sidebar, is what's one thing that grosses you out the most? Uh, and I really don't like finding, like, old moldy food in the fridge, and that's what I was going to say until I thought about it a little more. And my answer is poop. Uh, just like, I've seen people change diapers, and I don't know that I can ever do that. So, hopefully when I'm a parent, my wife will be really understanding. Uh, because poop is gross. There's no way around it. It's funny. Like, certain things are funny about poop, but it's gross. Okay, I think that's all I have to talk about. I kind of wish I would have ended on a different note. Uh, I will see everyone next week. Vote Eric.